hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is the mostly experience my life as a phd student it's so good to have you here i'm so glad that you're sticking around with me it's a new year and there's lots and lots of things that i have to tell you guys but first of all if you have not subscribed please do subscribe um check out my other videos like comment and Thank you so much to my new subscribers. I'm so grateful. And yeah, so you notice that I said Happy New Year. It's because I'm still living in the vibes. Um, so I said 2020 for me is my year of winning. Yes. But today, what I want to talk about is just um, how, you know, to be accountable and how to have a profitable year. Um just thinking about the old year itself and some of the plans we usually have we know every year we have new year resolutions and all that but then you sometimes think how well are you going to um be consistent with these resolutions that you've made and all that so i'm going to be sharing some things with you guys yeah in school and yeah there's been a lot of work back to back and all that but yet i came with this mindset into 2020 that in everything that i do and that i'm going to make sure that i am deliberate with all i do so i decided that okay there's a couple of things that i have to take note of um for example i try to look at how to grow what are those things that i need to grow um how can i be accountable in this new year and just thinking about how you know to be more productive in the year so the first thing that i did you know was to have this idea of developing a vision board which you know it's this kind of image uh of a visualized and a concrete image of what you want your year to be like you know what you want to achieve and all that so um i ordered a planner a planner is called the christian planner and this planner has you know places a, a lot of stuff so first it has a space for you to design your vision board secondly it has um a space where you can write your daily goals your weekly monthly and um um quarterly goals right and i thought it was really cool and also it's helpful if you're a christian for example to track your spiritual progress to check out okay what are the things that i've achieved um what do i need to work on and you know remind you daily of you know communing with god because sometimes we need that reminder and i know i do need that reminder even while i have loads and loads of readings and writings and lesson plans to make so i got this which is called the christian planner and yeah so this book um yeah it's a book <laughs> anyways so this planner i got because as i said i wanted to be more accountable and to also track my progress so as i said it has different spaces it on the first page there's this um information page on how to use the planner but yeah so this is the first page and this is what my vision board looks like i just bought a couple of stickers and designed it and just made it look the way i wanted it to look like i'm not the best designer but then there are people that could you know do something better and stuff like that but anyways yeah so this is the second part which is the my healthy habit goals and basically it just includes what you want to do daily or often what you want to do one to two times a week one to two times a month one to three times a year and your 2020 goals like everything should be outlined in um the calendar so one thing that i like about this planner is that it has a place for weekly summer notes so if you go to church and you're like oh i don't have a jota or whatever you have your planner already so you don't even have to bother about getting an extra jota so as you can see 
yep so it has the weekly planner um weekly sermon uh notes and then there's the weekly planner as well which i think is absolutely superb because yeah you can just organize your day so it's almost like it has everything it's like a spiritual handbook it's a personal and spiritual goal tracker and yeah it's just really nice so the second thing that i you know did um just to help me to develop a positive mindset is that i did some decorations in my room just to make my mood good all the time maybe i, I come back from a class and i'm tired or something and then i come into my room and i see everything I'm like hmm yeah positive vibes only because 2020 is for the win so i don't know if you can see that but i got that sticker or like yeah it's called wall decals and yeah i just designed some of the things that i want to see in my 2020 um and what i want to remind myself of every year so i've got something i'm going to show you in a moment so i've got a picture of myself sitting pretty then i have you know different words like thankful relationship faith tradition family love honor home yeah and different stuff like that that i just want to always remind myself of every single day so and i think it's really cool to have positive vibes the next thing is i got this really really cool um I don't know what it's called but i just thought it was beautiful so this actually detachable so i could put different um words and stuff i have like a bunch of the letters and symbols as well so let me just show you see it's detachable It's detachable but it's cool nonetheless yeah so that's that another thing um, is I think having a routine also helps because when you know what you're supposed to do at a particular point like it's so helpful I won't say okay my whole plan has be been perfect and all because sometimes I could just wake up and get be so lazy and tired and unmotivated but then I remember something from one of the books that I'm reading which is um, intentional living by um, C Maxwell and that has really really helped me to be consistent and also to remind myself of my goals and my visions for the year but yeah as I was saying it's good to have a routine so if you need to do something you know okay at this particular point in time I'm supposed to do this right you go and you go for it and this is even helpful because it helps you to achieve more and to be more productive in your life so yeah so overall great plans that i've put up for this year and i'm i'm really trying to motivate myself every day um i remind myself that okay you've got those goals and you've got this and you should be grateful for what you've achieved so far and where you're headed one thing that i remember uh, from the book intentional living is that you should also remind yourself of people who have helped you in the past because this motivates you to not only believe that you're worth you know where you are presently and your growth is worth it but it also reminds you of the need to help others as well so that's another thing I want us to do in 2020 you know be mindful and be mindful of others and also think about how to help others more think less of yourself and think more of others to round this off so thank you thank you so much for watching my video um next I'm just going to show you one 
um, particular day when I went to ShopRite to get some stuff. I went out with my sister, we had lunch, we had fun. But then, in the true Lagos spirit, it ended. It did not end in tears. It ended with just what you see. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is Temi Tope. <laughs> Let me be do, doing like this. <laughs> and it's really oh, oh, focus. I don't know. Ah, wow. Welcome to Ikadio City Mall. I'll be your great guy. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> We have food franchises, we have KFC, we have Seven Eagles, we have Spore, we have Krispy Kreme where you can get some of the world's best donuts, we have Chicken Republic, we have Ocean's Basket. Where is Ocean? Oh, it's Ocean Basket. Ocean Basket. And it's about to rain, so we have we to have add in. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, no. What? Nibo. Up. Ah, oh, and of course we have a game center. Ah, she only lost it. Reality game up. Ah, come on, and a karaoke bar. Ooh. Ah, and just see this Christmas tree. Ah, oh yeah, you we have to take a picture with the Christmas tree.
so we just finished buying and just having fun at Ikeja City Mall. So we are done. Yeah, we ate at Ocean, Ocean Buffet. Basket. Ocean, <laughs> Ocean, Ocean Basket. We went to Mini So. Yes, like they we really have cute right. stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we went to shop right. But yeah, we had to buy we went to dog food and everything. stuff. We went to office everything and their yeah, customer services. Yeah. But anyway, I really like the customer like service at Ocean, at Ocean Buffet. They were <laughs> at Ocean Basket. <laughs> they were really nice. And then the second is Miniso. That guy was really kind. Okay. I'm funny. Yeah, I'm funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is bye 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 bye